Hello, how are you today? I hope you're well. I hope you're having a lovely week. Today it's time for my August favourites. How was your August? I hope you had a good one. I had a really nice August, some nice weather, a bit of holiday from work, a few fun things. What more can I want from a month? Nothing. Nothing. So I'm going to talk about a few of my favourite things from the month today. First up, sport. I've had a sporty month. We've had Paris 2024, the Olympics at the start of the month and the Paralympics at the end. I talked about the Olympics a bit in my last favourites video too. Other sports that I enjoyed in the Olympics, which I didn't mention in that video, include the triathlon. That was really exciting, both the men's and the women's. The mountain biking and skateboarding were super exciting as well. And also the climbing, the boulder and lead climbing. This was a new event, this Olympics. Last Olympics they had it too, but it was combined with the speed climbing then. Um, but yeah, the boulder and lead climbing, I was obsessed. And now the Paralympic Games are on and I'm loving watching that as well. My favourite sport that I always gravitate towards during the Paralympics is the wheelchair rugby. Definitely recommend watching. And I'm excited to watch a lot more Paralympics over the next week. Now a couple of TV shows. Only Connect is back very happy. Monday evenings aren't the same without Only Connect. And also Interview with a Vampire season two is now airing on the BBC. And I'm about halfway through that and I've been really enjoying it more than season one so far. I mean significantly more than season one so far. And I did enjoy season one. Now a film, a couple of weeks back I watched the Elvis biopic, the recent one with Austin Butler and Tom Hanks. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great film. It flew by. It kept me interested throughout. There were some great performances. A lot of great music as well as you would expect. I recommend watching it if you get the opportunity. And finally for this month I want to rabbit on about video games for a little bit. We have a new season of Battlegrounds in Hearthstone. As you may know I play Battlegrounds a lot daily. I love it, it's so fun and I especially love it when there's a new season. New game mechanics and cards and stuff to deal with. It keeps the game fresh and I'm having a lovely time. In August we also finished playing God of War on Twitch. I really enjoyed this game in the end. There were a few bits in the middle where I got a little worried. There were quite a lot of puzzles in God of War uh, and there's also quite a lot that you can do and I struggled a bit with both. I'm not the best at puzzles and I don't like being left to my own devices too much either so I ended up pretty much solely following the main quest in God of War but the story was so good. I was so impressed with it. There were amazing characters. The look of the game has really stuck with me and the worlds we visited were so beautiful. It really stood out for me as a game environment. I was really impressed. I had a good time and I'm looking forward to playing Ragnarok which is the sequel probably in the next year. But now on Tuesdays in its stead we are playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Now Inquisition uh, is the game that is sort of the reason why I am streaming on Twitch now because I, I didn't game a ton when I was growing up and it was really Dragon Age Inquisition that was, you know, the first game I got on the PlayStation 4 and it's the first game I ever completed and it really got me into video games. You know, it's a piece of media that has kind of drastically changed the course of my life. I haven't played it for a while, it's been a while since the last playthrough the, the sequel is coming out, the long-awaited sequel, Veilguard, is coming out at the end of October. So I thought, got a bit of time, let's play Inquisition again to get the world sort of back fresh in my mind so that I can appreciate Veilguard fully. And it's reminded me of how great it is and it can't be beaten. It's still my favourite. I love the characters, I love the story, I love the look of the game. I like how much your choices make a difference. It's just a fantastic game and a fantastic series. And I am so excited about Dragon Age Veilguard now. So those are my favourite things from the month of August. As always, I'd love to know some of your favourite things from the month and if you have any thoughts on the things I've talked about today. I hope you have a fantastic September, whatever you're up to. I'm hoping for a good September. I've got some fun things coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week and let's move across to the end screen. If you'd like to watch my latest video or some more favourites videos then you can do that below me here and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel or visit my website then you can do that beside me here. And there's a link to my Patreon page in the description below if you fancy checking it out. Take care, stay safe and well and I will see you soon.